Hello from boysuits.com. We're back again, this time for a good look at some dress shoe tips. Stick around, you might learn something. Your shoes have to look great, obviously, but functionality should be considered, especially when dealing with a growing boy. This video is about something that can often be overlooked, but could potentially cause some grief if not considered. So let's talk about lacing dress shoes. There are two common ways to lace up dress shoes, and although there are others, most derive from either of these two methods. We'll be looking at both the straight lace method, also called bar lacing, and the crisscross method. There are pros and cons to each, and since our focus is on boys' and young men's clothing, we may provide a unique perspective. The straight or bar lacing method is typically considered more of a formal way to lace dress shoes. The simple clean look gives off an air of elegance and was developed as a way to complement the look of a traditional Oxford lace-up. Start by pulling the laces over the bottom two holes. Make sure that one of the laces is much longer than the other once you've pulled them through. Take the longer lace to the next available hole on the opposite side and run it underneath this hole. Then run the lace across to the other side and run it through the top of the hole, and repeat the process. Take the lace underneath, across, and over, underneath, across, and over. Then you can take the lace you haven't worked with yet to tie it with the side used throughout the shoe. So that's the straight lace method. Most shoes come laced this way already. If the shoe fits well, this method shouldn't be an issue. However, if hoping to order a little big for some growing room, the straight lace method doesn't allow for quite as much maneuverability in terms of how tight or loose you want to lace those new shoes. Before we move on to the crisscross though, we want to show you an alternative way of doing the straight lace. This version will hide the lacing underneath. You start the same way. Laces over the two bottom holes, one longer than the other. But instead of taking the longer lace to the opposite side, you pass it to the hole above the one you just threaded. Go underneath this hole, then over to the other side. Then repeat. Up and underneath the hole above, cross over to the other side, and over that hole. So again, this is the straight lace method. This particular version hides the lacing underneath the row of straight laces on top. That brings us to the crisscross method. The crisscross method of shoe lacing is something you are no doubt familiar with. Most athletic shoes are laced this way, so as you've probably guessed by now, the method is considered a more casual way of wearing shoes. Dress shoes of the more casual variety can be worn this way and we'll get into why you may consider this method for boys dressier shoes as well. You start by lacing the bottom two holes just like before. Unlike the straight lacing method though, with this one you make sure both laces are at even lengths once pulled through. Then it's pretty easy. Just keep crossing over the laces to the opposite hole. Make sure you stick to the same order once you start though. If you started by leading with the right lace, then continue in this fashion all the way up the shoe. Although this method is a little less dressy, sometimes it is a great option for a shoe that is just a bit too big but still technically fits and feels comfortable. Remember, buying clothing for boys is different than for full grown adults, so consider using this method if you really need to tighten up those laces for a better fit. So there you have it, the crisscross method. Use it for a more casual look, and keep it in your back pocket just in case you need it for a dress shoe. Now you should be equipped to lace up your new shoes or any other pairs you have already. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and follow all our social media pages to stay up to date on everything boysuits.com.